hello lovelies welcome to my channel in this video i will be showing you how to make thick and creamy avocado leave-in conditioner for your hair so if you want to know i made this leave-in conditioner keep watching <laughs> so guys in my previous video i showed you two ways of making avocado butter and i promised you guys that i'll be using one of the butters the one i made with the second method to make my leave-in conditioner so this is how the butter looks like you can see how dark it looks i will put the link to that video in the description box for those of you who have not watched the video so you can make it as well so guys i melted the butter a few hours ago but it has started to solidify i melted it because i wanted to show you the quantity that i'm using so I used about 3 tablespoons of my avocado butter. Now I will just add about half tablespoon of my emulsifying wax and I will be adding about half teaspoon of steric acid. Guys, this steric acid is optional. You don't have to use it. I'm using it because it makes the leave-in conditioner more smooth and creamy. Now I'm just going to measure my rose water. I'm using about 135 grams of rose water, which is about twice the amount of oil that I use. But you can also increase the rose water or decrease it depend on the consistency of the living conditioner that you want so guys you can see the rose water you can see how dark it looks i made it myself i'll also put the link to that video in the description box i made the rose water from dry rose petals i'll put the link to that video in the description box so you can make it as well now i just poured hot water into two separate bowls and i placed the water the rose water and oil in the bowls now i'll just stir the oil onto the emulsifying wax and the ceric acid dissolve in the oil completely now that the emulsifying wax has dissolved in the oil i'll just take them out and i will start mixing the oil and the water guys when mixing this you have to mix them really really well that is because you want the water and the oil to combine completely you can see that they are warm that's the reason why i warm them in the hot water that's because i want the water and the oil to be in the same temperature when i'm mixing them because it helps them to combine completely now i'm just going to mix this really well it's really really light right now you can see how it looks it's really really watery that is because the oil and the water are still warm i'm just going to show you the consistency after mixing this Okay, this is how it looks like right now it's really really light i'm still going to mix this again with my hand blender you can also use your hand mixer or electric mixer to mix this but it's better to use an electric mixer or hand blender to make it easier for you so i'll just mix this again and i'll leave this to rest for about one hour you can also leave this in your freezer then i will show you how it looks like so guys this is how it looks like it's one hour later the living condition is really really thick right now but it's not that smooth you can see it guys it's not that smooth so i'm just going to mix this again then i'm going to mix it with my hand blender just to smoothen it really really well So guys you can see how it looks like right now it's really 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 smooth right now you can see it you can see how it looks like it's really creamy it's really really smooth i love the consistency of this leave-in conditioner you can see it guys so now we are done mixing this i'm just going to add in my essential oil and preservative the essential oil and preservatives is totally optional you don't have to use them i'm using the essential oil because i love the smell of tea tree oil so i'm using tea tree essential oil i'm just going to add about five drops of my tea tree essential oil you can also use any essential oil of your choice i'll also be using some liquid gemma plus preservative you can use any preservative of your choice so i'm making about 120 grams of living conditioner so i'll be using about 0 0.6 gram of preservative that is because the preservative instruction says that you should use you should use about 0.5 percent of whatever you are making 
So always read the instruction of your preservative so you can know the quantity that you should use for your product. So now I'm just added my preservative. I'm just going to stir this very well just to combine the preservative and the leave-in conditioner. But you don't have to use preservative for this. I'm using preservative because I'm going to keep this at room temperature for a few weeks. But if you don't want to keep yours for a long time, you can store it in your freezer for about a week. That way, you can leave it without adding any preservative. So after adding the preservative, you can see how it looks like. It's now more creamy and light. Guys, I love the consistency of this leave-in conditioner right now. Now, I'm just going to stabilize my jar. Then I'll pour in my leave-in conditioner. Guys, I always emphasize on this step. Always sterilize your jar and your work surfaces before pouring in your beauty product. And always sterilize your hands. You can also wash your hands, especially if you are not using any hand glue. This helps to prevent your beauty product from developing molds or bacteria. And it also helps in preserving your beauty product for a long time. So this is how our leave-in conditioner looks like right now. It's really, really thick and creamy. You can see how it looks like. This leave-in conditioner is really, really good for your hair. It's going to moisturize your hair. It's going to soften your hair. And it also helps with hair growth. So we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with others so others can learn from it. And if you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment in the comment sections and I will be sure to reply all your comments. And before you go guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!